I'm Caitlin McLean, sports editor of the Whitworthian, and I'm here with senior Jill Hughes, and we're going to play some tennis today. What are we going to be working on today? What do you have for me? Um, I think starting with the basics is always good. Um, are you right or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, uh, that's just for later. But we should start with some ground strokes, I feel like. So maybe a little bit of a forehand, a little bit of a backhand. We could throw in a couple volleys if we want, um, but that's what I would start with. Perfect, yeah. let's do it. Okay. So Jill, when did you start playing tennis? Um, I started playing when I was about six, I would say. Yeah, and not competitively until I was like 10, but for a long time. That's great. And was there ever a moment in that tennis career where you kind of went, okay, I want to take this to maybe college or the next level? Yeah, I would say early years of middle school probably. Both my brothers were playing tennis too and they were getting closer to college age um, once I was entering into high school and they both came to Whitworth and played. Oh, so, gotcha. Yeah, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna follow them. That looks like fun. And I came and watched like a ton of their matches. So, That's great. Yeah, I was very familiar with Whitworth tennis. Oh, good. And then you guys play both singles and doubles, correct? Mm -hmm. Did you start out playing singles when you were younger? When did you, how did that kind of work yeah, for you? Yeah, I started with singles first um, and played mainly singles all through middle school. And then in high school, I played a year and then that's when I transitioned to doubles. Um, and it's cool because in Nampa, Boise area, we have mixed doubles. Okay. So I played mixed doubles through high school um, and really loved it. And then, yeah, came here and I play both now. That's cool. Yeah. So how does the structure of your guys' matches work with playing both singles and doubles in yeah. matches? So we have, um, in our roster, we have a lineup of six players um, for singles. So one through six, and those are the counting points for singles matches. Um, before the singles matches, we play three uh, rounds of doubles, so we have three teams, so um, six players will play doubles um, every match. So yeah, do the three doubles matches and then the six singles matches, and it's a total of nine points per match. And do you guys kind of switch around the teams when you play doubles? Is that based on rankings? Yeah. Um, it kind of depends a little bit on singles rankings where you'll play in the doubles lineup, but it also depends on how well um, two people play together. So, um, yeah, whether they are <laughs> good teammates on um, a doubles court or not. Uh, sometimes, like, I've played with a lot of different players, probably three of my teammates now um, at two and three doubles. So it just kind of gets mixed up depending on um, how well we're playing each week. and Yeah. You spoke to this a little bit, but how does it affect team chemistry knowing that you may be switching partners throughout the season or you may be playing with different people? Um, it can be a, li a little bit stressful if we don't know ahead of time, mm -hmm. um, but generally our coach lets us know at least like the week of before the match who we're going to be playing with um, and we will practice with that partner throughout the week. Um, it also kind of helps with the team dynamic a little bit because you learn to be flexible and adaptable to how each of your teammates play because we all have different styles so um, you kind of get used to playing with each of your teammates styles and adjusting to that. Yeah. Then when people watch tennis on TV a lot of people notice that the really good tennis players have a signature tennis grunt when they hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have a tennis grunt? <laughs> I would say yes because I feel like I exhale on every shot, but my coach has told me that she's never heard a sound come out of me. Interesting. Ever. <laughs> which I don't know. But sometimes I'll goof around during practice and let out some really loud like screams almost. That's amazing. <laughs> just to be annoying. But um yeah, no, I'm just kinda let out a little bit of a breath just to make sure that I'm loose and um, following through on my strokes. That's but, great. Yeah, we're generally a pretty quiet team, I feel like, in that area. <laughs> There we go. And you and I were talking a little bit before, and you told me that you actually had an injury last season. Yeah. Um, how has that been working back from that injury for you to get back on the court? Um, there's been highs and lows. I, it was a full year um, on the sidelines, which was really tough. I mm -hmm. lost my entire junior season. Um, and that was really hard, but I still showed up to every practice, and honestly, um, that helped me along and stay with it because my teammates were so encouraging and it was just really fun to just even watch them play even when I wasn't playing and traveling with them for matches was still really life-giving um, so it kind of encouraged me to you know work my butt off a little bit with physical therapy and um, it made me even more excited to start playing again this year so yeah it was tough um, and it sucked but mm. I think it 
made me realize how much I love tennis and that it was worth it to stick around and get back. So that's great. Yeah. You want to show me some of your skills? You want to play a little bit? Yeah. Let's sure. do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So usually um, with forehand grip, we start here, like you're shaking his hand, and then you kind of shift to have your first knuckle. Sorry, my hands are really dry. <laughs> pottery. Uh, <laughs> to line up with this bevel. And that's generally what I teach beginners. So, so like here? here, yeah. So this knuckle is gonna line up with this bevel right here. Like that? A little bit, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So when you're hitting forehand, it should be closed a little bit on the face um, for what I'm gonna show you. And the basic stroke is you're gonna be in a ready position. You're gonna split and you're gonna step and drop and then load high. All the way, yep. Follow oh, through all the way. Your shoulder. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So you got. You've done this before a little bit at least. We'll so see. I'm just gonna toss a couple and you just go ahead. Okay. Nice, nice. And keep your elbow all the way extended. Okay. And all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can kind of like sight track the ball with your left hand too. Okay. As I toss it. I haven't coached in a while. <laughs> that was good. Thanks. Have you done any coaching before? Yeah, I have. Um, I coached in high school. Uh, I did a senior project on coaching oh, wow. in high school. And then I coached um, some of the kids in the Spokane area. We do clinics here with the bubble, so I did that for a couple years. Oh, that was a bad toss. And you're cheating too, so get back. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Nice. And what's nice about tennis too is if you see the ball like going really high or going in the net, you can kind of just adjust your racket face a little bit. So okay. if it's going up a little bit like that, you can just, on your swing, um, just kind of close your wrist just a smidge. Okay. But it's all about the feel of it. Um, and it just takes reps to kind of figure out what stroke you like. All right, and then really swing on this one. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, do you want to do a backhand maybe? Sure. Okay, so it's the same deal and you start with like you're shaking his hand um, and yeah you're gonna be including um, your left hand since we generally do two-handed back hands <laughs> um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to shift it a little bit to the right so that your first knuckle again is now on this bevel and this knuckle on your left hand is gonna be lined up with this bevel okay yeah so I'm just gonna check it yeah go for it okay Yep, looks good. And then this, kind of come up over a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And then kind of see how that feels if you pull it back and you step with your right leg and you drop your drop your racket head a little bit. And then yeah, swing through. Nice. Cool. Yep, there it is. So whenever you see someone who likes their backhand more, that's always like kind of a cool surprise. Hmm. And it's a little tricky because we like to target backhands a little bit. Gotcha. All right, there you go. Step. Ooh, your backhand looks good. Okay. Thanks. Nice. Yeah, I like how you're stepping forward into it. Do you want to just do some volleys? Yeah, let's do it. Volleys, I feel like, are even easier. Cool. Because they're about the same motion for each side and you keep the same grip. So, yeah, you're shaking the racket's hand and that's your grip. That's it. You don't have to move it at all. Cool. So, you hit a forehand volley. You're going to step with your opposite leg for your forehand. Okay. So you're going to go with your left leg forward and that's your forehand volley. Cool. Leading with your left leg. Your back hand, you're leading with your right leg. Yep. Okay. Yep. And you can do a two-handed or you can do a one-handed depending on what feels more <laughs> comfortable for you. I do a little bit of both but generally a two-handed okay. <laughs> for the support of it. But yeah, so when we are hitting volleys, the main footwork that we like to teach is um, we are light on our toes to start. And then as the ball is being fed to you, you do a little bit of a split step, and then right as you go to hit the ball, that's when you step. Okay. And then same with the backhand side. You're ready. You split step, and then you step. Yeah. Cool. Natural. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and step. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And split, and step. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm, okay, I'm like in the worst position, though. It's my fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yep. I'm just gonna mix it up. Perfect. Just to see if you're light on your feet. We'll see. Could be either. <laughs> All right, here we Kay. go. Okay. Nice. We're gonna get quick. <laughs> nice. 
Those are the basics of ground strokes and volleys. Cool. We could do anything. We could do serves if you want. We can, yeah, what else? What yeah, let's serve a little if you're okay with that. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Let's grab ball. Okay. You're right handed, so that's good. All right. So you're serving on the do side. I'm going to have you walk up. Um, <laughs> you know not to foot fault. Yes. <laughs> Don't step over the line. Um, the first step of serving is making sure that you're facing the right direction. Okay. <laughs> Which is basic. But um, if you're right-handed, generally what I was taught is to have your um, left foot kind of facing that net post. Okay. Or a little bit to the side because as you toss the ball up and you're serving, you're going to be rotating to get the torque and the power. Gotcha. So you're twisting from right to left. Okay. So that's why we got to make sure that we're facing this way. And then on the ad side, you just stay facing basically the same way, if not rotating just a little bit more, because you're going to be serving that direction, but you're still going to have a little bit of that right to left rotation. So it'll be up and over. Um, yeah, so you've served before. Mm -hmm. Can I just see your serve? Yes. <laughs> let's, let's see how this goes. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Out is better than into the net, I guess. Yes. I, mm. <laughs> Always better than in the net. Okay. Also out. <laughs> <laughs> you do the same thing that I do, which is toss the ball very, very low. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to practice tossing the ball higher. Sounds good. Um, as you serve, generally you have a little bit of a routine. What I like to do um, is to bounce the ball a few times, take a breath. Um, before going into my service motion. Um, that way it kind of just helps you uh, cue your body and your mind <laughs> to focus on getting it in, which is harder than it looks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so you start, and I like to have my racket here to prep for the toss with your arm straight out, and you just go up, keeping your arm straight for the entire toss. Okay. Yeah. So the toss is really important Ooh. for your serve. It's basically everything. <laughs> yeah, so just practice getting it. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> too low. <laughs> I felt that one. It's good that you felt it though, because the toss was still higher than like some of the first ones. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> good, so now, <laughs> As you're um, contacting, I want you to focus a little bit on the rotation and following all the way through across your body. Okay. Yeah, that's a good follow through. Thanks. As a tennis player, is it still kind of a constant battle of tweaking your mechanics yes, all the time? all the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> nice, toss even higher. Okay. Woo! That was a great That toss. felt better. Yeah. yeah. It'll help. Okay. Yes! There it was! That was awesome! <laughs> Thanks. That was <laughs> wrong box, but the trajectory was great. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're not complaining. We'll take it. How'd it feel? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. A few more. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's all on the toss. <laughs> That's awesome. Bummer. You just practice now, though. Yeah. It looked good. Perfect. I like it. You're hitting the strings. That's important, except for the one frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that was, I mean, what do you think? It was fun. Yeah. No, it, it felt a lot better once I, you yeah. know, there's a lot to think about at once, but once yeah. we started tweaking things, it definitely it felt is a, a lot, lot better. To think about. Um, a lot of the time, my coach only gives me a couple things at once just because, mm. like, trying to change, like, your, your legs, your breathing, your contact point, your toss all at once, like, it's just, it's too much. So you kind of have to just pick one thing. Um, work on that for like I don't know a week yeah <laughs> and then yeah move on to the next but Perfect. it's all you're always shifting something it's always gonna be a change cool but. you want to show us a couple serves yeah oh yeah <laughs> sure <laughs> um, Rachel don't be disappointed in me <laughs> she's just gonna use this for footage for my lesson next time oh if we get one in you got it <laughs> it's okay, there's a lot of pressure. You're good. There's so much pressure. I'm not used to cameras. <laughs> there it was! Is. Yay! Got one in. <laughs> nice.
nice. Yeah, Caitlin, that's so good. Get there, get there, you got it. Oh, nice get. That was tough. Oh no! <laughs> that was like an eight ball round. That was great. Today I learned some forehands, some backhands, we did some volleys, some serving. Yeah. Tossing is the most important part of serving. Tossing is hard, but tossing is hard. We figured it out. I think maybe yes. a little bit. <laughs> you did. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it still. <laughs> well, I appreciate you teaching me, yeah. and thanks for all that you taught me about tennis. That was Beautiful super fun. Yes. <laughs>